Another sunny day in southwestern Florida. I'm here on a large project that we're doing that was related to Hurricane Irma. And as you'll be able to see in the background, it's work in progress for a very, very large clay tile roof project. You might be wondering how we did this from beginning to end. So when Hurricane Irma hit in August of 2017, we had a lot of clients that needed repair work done on their associations. So that involved a lot of work meaning we had to come out and do what's called a condition report and give the client an update on whether or not we believed it was worthy of filing a claim. So in this particular association, we found out that it would be. So now it's 2021, about four years later from the date of the storm inception. So this particular association went through a lot of work to get where we're at today. Appraisal, depositions, board folks that needed to be interviewed, delays from insurance companies, denials from insurance companies. But as you can see, the wait was well worth it because the roofs were at the end of their life cycle. They had maybe two, two years left. But what we were able to do is bring a successful closure to the association, work to get their roofs replaced. In a, and I don't wanna say it's a timely fashion because it took four years. But as you can see behind me, the wait was well worth it. So you might be wondering how we got to this point. Well, there's several steps involved. Step number one is doing a condition report for the client. What that means is coming out here and doing a detailed inspection and reporting our findings back to the board, whether it's worthy of filing a claim. And we support that with detailed diagrams along with photographs that support our position. My manager company told me that um, they had a company called ABC. They would like to talk to me about replacing roofs, etc., etc. And we had a meeting, we discussed the whole situation, and I was convinced. And I uh, said, yes, let's go for it. Okay, okay. And I was very successful, got a new roofs. Step number two would be once a claim is filed, we would then meet with representatives from the insurance company to agree on what's called a scope of work. Ben, since your community was the first one from beginning to end um, to experience the restoration process, tell us how long it took and convey a little bit of the uh, experience, frustrations that were involved in waiting that long, 18 months, I believe. Uh, yes, it took 18 months. Um, the, uh, the insurance company kept on delaying and uh, they made a couple of proposals. Uh, and uh, they kept on delaying again. And, and um, I made up my mind that um, uh, if things went bad all the way, uh, I was gonna end up in court and let the jury tell me that I was wrong, one way or another. Uh, very simple. Uh, but the insurance company, they have some smart lawyers, uh, uh, made a deposition of five hours, and. And anyways, we were successful. It did take that long. My homeowners were kind of frustrated, but I was not. I was just relaxing and wait for the time to come. And it did. Did you go through the appraisal process then? Oh, yes. Yes. Okay. Inspections. They, the insurance company sent uh, um, four different groups of inspectors to inspect the roofs. And, and um, so it, it took time, uh, but I understood, you know, uh, being the first one and dealing with the insurance company, etc. it would take some time. And, and I made my decision to wait. Uh, Wonderful. I did. Okay. Bob, 11 months. Um, was it a similar experience that Ben went through? Um, explain a little bit for us. Well, bec after talking with Ben, I was prepared for it to go as long as 18 months. But uh, ABC had told me that the average time was about a year. And uh, we, had, we signed a contract with uh, ABC in January 2020, and they settled in uh, November. Okay. It was almost exactly 11 months. So we were happy with that. But what we found was, as Ben said, there was a lot of deflect, deny, and uh, delay all along. Uh, the insurance company would come out with uh, ABC's uh, experts. They would agree with their measurements. They would agree on everything. And you'd start to think that maybe they were going to settle. And then all of a sudden, the negotiations would stop. 
and the insurance company would go dark on us. And then when ABC pushed them some more, our attorney pushed them some more, uh, it would start up again. And it seems like everyone went through this. Uh, and the insur I had a different insurance company from Ben's, and I, I know there's probably five or six different insurance companies that we were involved with here at Sapphire Lakes. But it's a process where you have to be patient. Uh, ABC had pretty well prepared us for the, f the way it was going to go down, and uh, it, it went pretty much according to form. And once that is agreeable, if it is, then we would move forward with what's called material selection. Ben, explain a little bit, because you were the first one to come in here and start moving some things forward, and you said it took a total of 18 months. So once you got the green light, what did you have to do regarding um, perhaps any consultation with the homeowners or with our company on the color selection and the tiles and what you wanted to replace on your roof? Explain a little bit about that process. Well, we, we found out that the roof, uh, roofs have to be replaced totally. And um, I wanted to keep the, 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 the color schemes, you know, originally. So it just so happened, <laughs> I took some old tire, uh, tires that I had, uh, cleaned them up, and, and I selected what we have now, and everybody is happy. Okay. Um, how about you, Bob? Explain how that material selection process uh, looked in the beginning. Well, when my uh, claim was settled, it was uh, November 2020. Okay. And in November, we don't have a large number of uh, residents here. A lot of them are snowbirds that come down after January. So we had to kind of quickly decide what the color was going to be. So we had a terracotta roof, tile roofs before. So um, ABC gave me a color chart. I never realized there were so many different colors in terracotta, but there were a number of choices. Okay. But we picked one that, that was pretty close to what we had. Yep. And fortunately, my residents are very happy with the decision that we made. So the clay tile that you see behind me can be subjected to votes for the homeowners within the association. It could also be submitted for approval to an architectural committee. Having a contractor that knows materials and is able to, obey, to be able to assist a board in making those selections and even doing computer renderings on how it's going to look before the material is even in place is very helpful. The final position that we would be in would be the build phase which is as you can see right now so okay so so now now we're at the point where we're I guess as far as how we look at it the fun begins is we get to start putting the product on okay so the materials have been ordered they've been delivered and, and the crews start arriving explain a little bit about the building experience with our company um, and how that looked go ahead Ben well the um you, ABC had supervisors uh, around, and they, uh, uh, I, uh, I was talking with them uh, on a daily basis. And okay. And the work went along fine. They, they had to replace uh, some of the foundation below the uh, the tiles, you know, plywood stuff of a situation, and and then uh, everything went fine. I mean, I was very happy. Everything went fine. Okay, Bob, would you say along uh, all along this process that the communications between our company coupled with the on-site project management that we supply were fully able to handle any situations that, that would come up in a timely manner? I, I can honestly tell you I was tremendously impressed with the whole operation. There was a project manager, George, that was assigned to my pr uh, project and he was in constant communication with the higher ups at ABC, and so was I. Okay. Uh, so if I ever wanted to talk to the vice president at ABC, uh, if I couldn't find the project manager, if I, or I had an issue, uh, everything was answered within minutes. Okay. In some cases, the project manager had already anticipated some of the problems. And to, uh, to just to follow up on Ben, one thing that I became aware of one of my buildings, one of my condo buildings, they replaced 54 sheets of plywood because the others were rotted. And I know that when other companies would come in here and do repair jobs, they wouldn't replace sheets of plywood. Okay. You know, they, but uh, they replaced anything that was needed to be replaced. And it wasn't 54 sheets on each of my buildings, but right. that was the most. But 
it's a great feeling knowing that all of the plywood underneath and all my buildings is now all either new or perfectly fine. I know that when we come into any community, the first thing that we look at is the logistics aspect of it as far as where we're gonna place our materials, closely followed by the landscaping. It's a beautiful community. It's got beautiful landscaping. Do you feel that those both matters, the logistics and the delivery of the product, along with the protection of the landscaping was done in a good professional manner? Yep, they were very respectful of all the landscaping and particularly of the residents. Uh, Sometimes in association like this, when you have a uh, number of residents whose lives are going to be uh, upended a little bit by the turmoil it, of the It's a disruption, yep. Uh, I didn't get a single complaint from a single one of my residents, and I told uh, the project manager, George, that. And uh, they, were, they were very, uh, very respectful of everyone's privacy and also okay. making sure that they didn't uh, create any problems as uh, side effects of, of the disruption. If you need a good contractor that can help you out and assist throughout the whole process, understand that there's a difference between a roofing company and an insurance restoration expert that really knows the science behind what we call claim settlement. And American Building Contractors would be a great company to have in your back pocket before the storm happens.